Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm going to be going over the second half of the open part of the tryout dance. So you just did your layout. You came up on one, two. Your right arm is in a high bubble, and it should be extended. Don't bend it too much. And your left foot is pointed back behind you, and your left arm is clean, kind of behind you. So that was on one, two. You're crossing over with your left leg. Your arms are coming clean on three. You're doing an inside fan on four, making sure that your foot he hits each angle, so it should come and hit this diagonal, come all the way around and hit this diagonal and come down, so make sure you're not cutting that. And your wrists, your arms should be crossed at your forearms instead of your wrists, because the judges can't see if you're crossed too far down. So that was three, four. Your body is changing focus to the diagonal, and your head is to the diagonal. You're sashing with your right foot on five and six. You're doing a bowler step on seven, eight. So you've just it on five and six. You're coming into coupe with your left foot and your body is turning and you're dropping it down and hitting this position on eight. Your right foot is pointed behind you at a low scuff and your arms are in bubble arms and your focus changes to the front. So that was, you just came up on one, two, crossing on three, fanning on four, Sasha on five and six, bowler on seven, hitting on eight. Let's try that with the music. Okay, so going on, you just hit your bowler on eight. You're sliding down to the back with your right foot extended and make sure that you're keeping your back really straight during this part. And so that's, you're sliding to the back on one, two. You're closing your left foot to your right on three, four. And this is a really good time for the judges to see your back and look if you have good technique. So make sure you're really pointing those toes long beyond those knees and that your back is arched and straight up and your focus is to the side. So that was slide down one, two, close on three, four. You're opening up your right foot on five so that you're in a 90 degree angle with your right foot pointing to the audience and your left foot pointing out to the side. So that was on, open up on five and make sure your shoulders are still back and you're, you still have good technique. You're putting your hands down in front of you on six and you're lifting up for a press on seven, eight. So if you can't do a press, try to lift up as much as you possibly can. But if you can't get up, if you can't get your bottom on the ground, then lift your feet up. So this is a turning press. So you just put your hands down on six. You're lifting up on seven, eight. You're turning to the front on one, two. So again, if you can't do it, simply just lift your feet up and rotate to the front or try to get it as far off the ground as you can. So that was seven, eight, turn the front on one, two. You're flexing your feet on three and pointing them and sitting down on four. So let's try all of that with the music. So going on, you just did your press, you just came out on four, you're going into a four sit with your right foot in front, make sure your left foot is really pointed and your back is straight up and your foot should be a little bit pointed off the ground. So I was on four, five, start moving six, you should be in a box by six and make sure your hands are clean by your side, this one should be like cupped under your palm. On six, you're putting your arms down on seven, and you're putting your head and tucking your knee under on eight, prepping for a headstand. So if you can't do a headstand, you can either just get in this position and extend your feet out and hold it there, or you can try to go halfway, or you can go all the way up if you can do it. Um, just try your best to lift your feet off the ground, but if you can't do it, it's okay. The headstand will be scored, but it won't keep you off 
the team if you can't do it necessarily. So just try your best. What helps me is to make a triangle with my head and my hands. So bring your hands back a little bit from your head. Like this. And really try when you prep to pull your butt up in the air. So that was sit on four out of your press, get up on five, box on six, put your hands on the ground, on seven, tuck your knee under, and this foot should be pointed, both feet should be pointed, on eight, and your head's on the ground and your arms are ready. You're sliding up into a pike on one, two, extending your legs out on three, four, and you can kind of point your toes off the ground here if it helps you. You're lifting up on five, six, seven, eight. Make sure your legs are locked out and your feet are pointed. And try not to sag your headstand like this. Try to get it as vertical as you can. So it's on five, six, seven, eight. You're holding one, two, and splitting down on three, four. So let's try just the headstand with the music. Okay, we're gonna do it with the music just from the press into the headstand. Okay, so going on from the headstand, you just split down on three, four, and make sure when you bring your feet down that they don't sickle, that they don't sickle in like this. They should be slightly turned out. So you just came down on three, four. You're moving into a lunge on five, six with your right foot, and make sure that your feet aren't really close together because then you, you look really awkward. So make sure that your feet are drawn up apart. They should be wider than shoulder length. So you're lunging on five, six. Your hands are in fists by your side. So that was one, two, come down three, four. Lunge on five, six into your right leg. You're moving to the side, putting your hands down and pointing your foot under on seven. And then you're sliding this other foot under on eight. Make sure in this position that you're not sagging, touching the ground, that your feet aren't turned in towards each other and they should be pointed, don't have them flexed under. So that was five, six, hand seven and your focus goes down and out of your body. Feet eight, this is a prep for a planche. So you're gonna scooch, sorry, you're gonna scooch your bottom up on one, two and your feet should be pointed under. Make sure they're not curled up like this. That's a big pet peeve. So make sure your ankles are completely pointed and your side of your face should be touching the ground. Everyone does their arms on their planche differently. I do mine turned out away from each other with my right hand on top and my left hand on bottom and I kind of dig my elbow into my side. That's what works for me. But everyone does it differently so you have to play around with it and see what works for you. So that was Seven, eight, sliding your feet up on one, two, and really, really try to pull your butt up here because it'll help you get into your planche better. So that was on one, two, you're extending your left leg on three, four, checking your right on five, six, bringing your right down on seven, and meeting it on eight. You're in the same position and your focus is to the side. So if you can't do a planche, just try to at least get in this position and try to lift this leg up if you can. If you can't check it, that's okay. Again, it'll be sport, but it won't necessarily keep you off the team. So just try your best to at least get that one leg up if you can. So that was three, four, five, six, come down on seven, eight. And make sure you're not splitting that top leg over too far. 
it should be fairly vertical with your body. On seven, eight, you're moving your weight, you're picking your left hand up and switching your weight to the front here. On one, tucking your left foot under and your arms are slightly bent here. They should be planted on the ground because you'll need your arms to help you get up. So that was turning to the front on one, arms and leg on two. You're gonna slide your right leg around behind you. On three, you should be kind of here. And then you're gonna lift your body up. Make sure you're pointing the toe out and the knees in a deep lunge. Your arms are in fists by your side and your focus is up. That's a good time for the judges to see your presence. Make sure you're rolling one shoulders back and looking up at the judges. So that was one, two, slide, three, hit on four. And that's gonna transition you into the jazz section. So let's do it with the music one more time. Okay, now we're gonna try it with the music from after the headstand to the end of my part. <laughs> Okay, that was the end of my part, so we're gonna do that whole thing with the music. Good luck.